Hello there, welcome everyone again into this tutorial whereby in this tutorial we will learn how to condition the signal and also further process it uh, after we have already enter we have learned how to enter the signal into the uh, MATLAB Simulink in the previous video if you haven't watched my previous video I <clears throat> advise you to go and, and watch it that video will uh, teach you how to enter the, the data from your physical measurement into the MATLAB Simulink <clears throat> and today we will learn how to process it or condition this signal okay first for example this signal is already uh, uh, enter it from last video so now we will see how to process it or condition it okay so let's close this okay so this is our uh, simulink so first of all we need uh, something called or some block called MATLAB function okay here it is this MATLAB function it takes input process it according to your code and give you an output okay so this MATLAB function we will place it in between the signal our signal and also our output which is so far only the scope we see in the next uh, in the next videos what we can do with these signals okay and um, here we need scope with two input let's delete this easier and this one here and so we can see before and after the process okay then we double click here to call back the okay after you double click here then it will open you the function okay it's a function of y uh, sorry it's a y function of u whereby y is the output u is the input okay so now let's say uh we want here, we want here, let's see where is the signal again. Okay, so this is our signal, this is the original signal. Let's go for the layout to, you can see two signals now. Okay. Now we can see the first and second signal same because we don't have any uh, any code inside the function and also if you can see that the function just y equal to you so just passing the input to the output okay so let's say we need to uh, build a function to do a bug or boost converter implementation okay for example if this signal come as an input so let's say we start with the boost converter the boost converter let's say as as long as the signal is more than 2 or more than let's say 1.5 then the output will be 5 because it's boosting up okay otherwise if less than 1.5 it just give you a zero output or let's say it's a bug bug is uh, reducing the, the output for example if the input is less than 2 the output or oh, sorry if the input is more than 2 volt or let's say 2 the value of the signal will be 2 then the output let's say will be only 1 or 0.5 it depends about your application okay so let's start with the boost first we close this then we come here okay to implement the boost we just use a simple if condition for sure this one don't need anymore we need if condition okay let's say if the input which is u is more than let's say 1.5 if more than 1.5 y the output will be equal to 5 okay else y should be equal to zero just a normal implementation of uh, 
half of boost converter. Okay, if the input is more than one by five, it means okay, the converter is ready to be pushed up and will be outputting a five. Otherwise, if less or equal to one by five, it will output a zero. Okay, so let's see now how it will behave. Okay, let's run again. Okay, as we can see here, as long as the signal, this is the input, this is the output, as long as my input is more than 1.5, my output is constant 5 volt. Okay, now let's wait until the signal will go less than 1.5 exactly, then we can see the output is dropped to 0. Okay, so this is the implementing of boost converter. Okay, the boost converter always the output will be more or higher than the input. This is the boost converter. Okay, after this we see how to implement a bug converter. Okay, I'll see when it's go up again more than 1.5, it's boost up again, start to boost up at 2, 5 volts. Okay, so with this we can simulate there's any, for example, any uh, voltage or signal coming from any random random system and how to we uh, boost it or bug it. Okay, so this is done. Now let's copy this. Best again. So now let's go with boost, boost converter. Uh, sorry, bug converter is, is very easy. Same code, exactly same function, but instead of 5 volt, let's say 21 volt. Because it will be bugged. Okay, let's try it again. And no run. Okay, here we go. As long as the input is more than 1.5, the output will be constant 1 volt. Okay. Now, when the input will go below than 1.5, we can see the output will be dropped to zero. Okay, here we go. See, when it go lower than 1.5, this is the 1.5, exactly it will go to zero. And then when the input will be recovered again, recover of more than 1.5, then the buck converter will be generating energy of one volt again. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so next we have implementing implement imp already implemented the bug boost converter. So now uh, let's go further maybe to implement some rectifiers. Okay, maybe halfway, four wave rectifiers. Let's close this. Okay. Now let's go for rectifier and rectifier. Let's call a sine wave. Sine wave block. Amplitude, let's say 5 volts. Okay. And also, we need a MATLAB function and scope with two input. Okay. Okay. So now, again, if we run our block directly, we can see our sine wave. Okay, this one, let's reduce the time to one second. Run again. Mm, no, maybe 10 seconds. Okay, beautiful. They are 
C2. Okay, we can see the input and output is the same because again, as we said, this MATLAB function will have been uh, changed yet, so output will be equal to input. Okay, let's see what we can do. Now let's implementing uh, what's so called uh, half wave rectifier. For the half wave rectifier, again, we use if condition. Okay. If the input, which is u, is more than zero, because the 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 input, which is a sine wave, we start from zero. Okay. The input start from zero. Let's see the input again. Okay, we see the input start from zero, go all the way positive to the five, draw back again to zero, then go down to the negative five, and so on. Okay, so if we want to rectify it, halfway rectifier, then we our reference will be zero. If more than zero, okay, so the output or y will be equal to the input. Sorry. Okay, so the output will be just equal to the input, mean the input will be passed through. However, else if if not more than zero, is mean if zero or less, then the output will be equal to zero. Okay. Okay. okay? Again. If our, our reference here is zero, is more than zero, so it just pass. If less, if equal zero or less, it will be equal to zero. It means it will cut off, cut off the negative part. Okay, let's run again. Well, here we go. Okay, we can see if from zero all the way positive to the five and go down to the zero, it's all pass. Okay. From zero and down in the negative side is cut, and the positive bit is pass. Okay, so this is the implementation of the half wave rectifier. Okay, now let's go for the fourth uh, implementation, which is the full wave rectifier. I guess, and so now you already got the idea how to implement it. Uh, conditioning circuit into the MATLAB. Okay, we just copy paste again, sine wave, five pole. Now we come to the full wave. Full wave here, actually, almost same to the half wave, but with a simple, simple uh, modification. For sure, the positive the positive side is just pass. Okay, this one no need to be passed, but the, the, the change will be in the negative side. Okay, in the negative side, what we will do, we will just invert the negative to the positive. Okay, we bring back the negative part or the negative uh, peak into the positive peak. How? By simply multiply it by minus one. Okay, this one will inverting the negative peak into a positive peak. Okay, let's see how. We run again. There we go. Okay, we can see here the positive peak it's passed nicely, and the negative peak it's inversed and pass again. Positive, negative, positive, negative, etc. So if we close, we go, let's say to 50 seconds, and we run again. There we go beautiful signal also the frequency is nice matching the frequency and everything is nice okay so in this tutorial again we have learned how to condition the signal that we have entered in the previous tutorial and how we design different conditioning uh, we simulating different conditioning uh, circuits like a bug boost and also uh, also uh, what they call the rectifiers half wave and full wave rectifiers actually this one you can do it using the the passive component using the diodes bridge rectifier etc and the simulation but here we don't have a voltages until now we have only uh, signals okay just a data it's not a voltage yet okay these all the one we have used just now okay 
this one, this all the one we have used, for example, this one is still a signal here also. They are just a signals and data, not yet converted into a voltages. Okay. So for me, I, I prefer to condition my data first because this one I took it from uh, physical measurement, for experimental measurement, or from online, from papers, research, from research papers or whatever. Then. I will condition it first, then later we will see how to convert these data or these signals into a voltage so we can use it uh, to charge or discharge our battery or even to connect to another load. Okay, so thank you very much and I hope you have learned something in this tutorial. Uh, please leave me, leave me a comment if you have any question or any further uh, discussion regarding to these tutorials. Thank you very much. See you soon.